going on people, welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the title of the video today, your boy is returning to Baby Metal. Now I know a lot of people on the channel will just be pissed off that I'm doing Baby Metal, but it's just a nice change. Kawaii Metal I think is what it's called, which means like directly, I think translates to like cute metal, um, which is just hilarious to even think of as a concept. But in my opinion, it does work. It serves its purpose, it's cute, it's funny. And some of the tracks, for example, like Karate by Baby Metal, is really fucking good or are really good. Karate is still my favorite baby metal track that we have done or that I have done on this channel. So I figured why not try their live version because I know I've had some copyright issues. I did Elevator Girl and um, not too long ago and that got removed from YouTube completely because it was an official video. So maybe the live videos are the best way to go as well as the fact that people say that the live videos are usually the best way to watch with baby metal anyway. I did one track live. I can't remember, I've, I've typed in my name. I can't find it anywhere. Maybe it got removed as well, I'm not sure. But I did a live version from Download Festival and I just felt like the crowd didn't really click with um, with the performance. I felt like there was a kind of a disconnect. So maybe this one will be a little bit better, but we are gonna check it out, guys. Oh, do you know what I did? I did baby metal live. I think I did karate from Glastonbury 2019. So we're gonna do karate from uh, the UK download 2016 apparently this is a little bit better so without any further ado let's jump into this guys drop a like if you have not already this is my favorite ba favorite baby metal song that I've got so far so uh, hopefully this performance is in some way shape or form decent so yeah let's go this track is so good the guitar riffs and everything just I don't know what that's called, but... Can someone explain to me what that, uh, the little break is between the guitar riffs where it's like the screech in the guitar. Someone explain to me, just so for future reference, I know because they do that in quite a lot of their tracks as far as I'm aware. Um, I know Karate has that a lot and it just adds so much. It like builds up with this guitar riff and then does that little weird Someone let me know what the official technical term for that is, okay? Instrumental side of it, but now that I'm hearing this a few more times, I'm feeling today. I'm feeling today class. Let 
This is a much better crowd response than what I'd seen at Glastonbury. That's the little fox thing. What's that called again? I can't remember what it's called. Yeah. I don't know. You guys, I, I've, I haven't got a memory for this shit, but you guys are always filling me in. You always do a great job of just letting me know what's going on with baby metal. Because um, I don't really listen to them in my own time, but however, karate might be getting added to my playlist at this point because I think this is like my second, at least my second, because no, I did it with Amy as well. So I did it by myself, then I reacted with Amy. And then I think I did a live version from Glastonbury. I definitely did Glastonbury. I don't know which track it was that I did, but um, in terms of the live performance, this was definitely, I'd say like less awkward is probably the better word because I felt like the Glastonbury performance was a little bit awkward. It was as if like no one really knew who they were or only like a select few people at the, at the front knew who they were. But judging by the response from the crowd in this, they obviously had a lot more people who were aware or even just the crowd suited them a little bit more. I know Download is generally a little bit more catered towards metal music as far as I'm aware. Whereas Glastonbury is like a hip hop festival, like a rap festival. So I didn't really understand, even if you go back to the last video where I did the Glastonbury video, I, it like, I was kind of confused as to why they were playing at it. I get that they kind of like bridge a few gaps between metal and like kind of pop culture, but this seems like a better environment for them you could hear the crowd was really like playing up to them as well so uh, yeah definitely a better environment a lot less awkward people were playing along with it whereas just at the glassmere one it was like people were looking at it like they couldn't actually comprehend what was going on but uh i suppose that's an understandable response and um, if you aren't aware of baby metal in the first place but yeah guys that's gonna be me for the video if you did enjoy it, please do slap a like on the video let me know if you want to see more baby metal they're always just fun to do and uh, it breaks up the channel and uh, reactions a little bit sometimes because sometimes i get like i do quite a lot of serious songs like quite heavy tracks like progressive tracks that are really like you need to kind of open your mind a little bit more whereas baby metal is just a lot of fun and a lot of energy and you can just kind of chill out and just fucking enjoy yourself doing it. Not that I can't enjoy myself with the other reactions, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be me for the video. Subscribe to the channel so you do not miss any further reactions. And that's me signing out. Take it easy. Cheers. <laughs>